press-ups. Pretty standard exercise, but when you're just starting out on your fitness journey and your exercise program, maybe they're a little bit more difficult than, than perhaps they look. Um, but like all exercises, we can modify them and we can adapt them to our own capabilities so that our bodies still get the benefit. Now the benefit of a presser is all in upper body, upper body strength. So you're working your pectoral muscles on your chest, you're working your shoulders, and you're working your triceps um, on the back of your arms, which is great if you wanna get rid of what I hear some people call flabby back wings. But if you can't do a full press up on the floor, as I just demonstrated, there are various ways around it. First way is to just change the angle, okay? So when you're flat on the floor, you've got gravity pressing down on the full length of your body. By changing the angle, you're changing the resistance that your hands are having to work against in order to press, and therefore the pressure. Now, to make the exercise easier, we need to have our hands higher than the feet. Now we can do this against a wall. I'm going to demonstrate on the back of the sofa. So it's exactly the same action. Make sure that we've got the abs nice and engaged. We don't want a, a bent, uh, concave back. We need the arms engaged, flat back, and we're just going to press against the back of the sofa, back of a chair, back of a table, against the wall, whatever it is that you're using. Okay? And over time, that will get easier. And as it gets easier, we can make the exercise more difficult. We can make it difficult, more difficult by increasing the number of reps, increasing the number of sets, by reducing the time that we rest in between sets. And most importantly, in terms of this exercise, we can change the angle. So the higher up our hands, the easier the exercise, the lower down our hands, the harder the exercise. Now, eventually, we'll progress to the point where we can do some press-ups at least in the true and proper press-up style. Now to do a military style press-up, we need the hands directly underneath the shoulders and in line with the chest, abs engaged, back straight, and as we come down, we're keeping the elbows tucked in. Okay, see how those elbows are tucked in? And we're not bringing the head down, we're bringing the chest down and the head comes with it. And we push back up, all the way down, all the way down, up. Breathe in as we come down, breathe out as we come back up. Breathe in, breathe out. Now, you might get to a stage where you want to do 10 press-ups, for example, but you get to about six in that style and it's getting a little bit more difficult. If that should happen, we can still do the 10. So, <clears throat> let's go back to our press up position. And we're pressing away, and all of a sudden we're getting tired, we can't do many more. All we do is drop the knees to the floor and take some of the weight. You can lift your feet up off the back, and we continue doing the press ups. But we've reduced the resistance. We've got less weight to push and get pushed back up because we're no longer lifting our full body. We've taken everything from the knees down out of the equation. So again, like any other exercise, there are adaptions that we can make to make it easier for the start of our fitness journey. If we're coming back after a long break, if we're recovering from some kind of injury, most important thing is to do them. And once we start doing them, we start progressing. As we start progressing, we start getting healthier, we start getting fitter.